Okay, unfortunately what happened right there is somewhere in my trolley and back and forth I knocked the cord right out and I had to reset the camera. So I got the lathe shut off and that's kind of when I knocked the cord out. I knew I had left this in but it took me a little longer to get around than I expected and this thing's over here going clang, 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 and I didn't like that. So I kind of panicked, reached in here, camera went off. So I will kick this into a no gear. We are not dialed to anything right now and everything is loose but I finger tightened this outboard side to basically sh to make sure it was wabbling big time and let's see if I can get this to where you can read the dial Na -na -na. this is where it gets tricky with my I'm gonna go to manual focus Boy, it was in there pretty good. Run this color down. Getting some. Ooh. Sorry, cheeks. That was what we commonly term the wrong way. So, let's get a little closer. Boy, this is going to get absurdly weird. But, let me see. We are manual focus. You can at least see the dial clacking. Now, the idea here was to find out is there any correlation between the dial and the Gordy rod? This Gordy rod is literally just sitting here in the chuck. I pushed it back in far enough that it'll stay there in a stable position while I run this a little bit. Do the clickety clack. I'll probably index <coughs> that section well you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something completely different before I confuse myself mightily I'm just gonna go out here just outside the lapping bell oh no I took the lapping bell off forget what I just said I'm gonna go all the way out here to the end I crowned this off in the last video to get a nice clean entry for the gourd now let's see what kind of run out I've got here Ah, see, now we have some nice run out. We're running clear up here to five plus a couple of ticks, and we're clear down here almost to the other five. So we've got uh, a couple thou here. That wobble on that end is transmitting to this end. So now I'm going to put the Gordo in there. Let's just say that we have, we're going to go slowly here, bottom of groove over here, I'll set it to zero just to uh, make my life and yours easier. Bottom of groove, and we should get better readings today. I've already, the, the gauge is already not bouncing around like it was. This, uh, and the headstock's not going clank, 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 clank like a Peterbilt. So we're zero in the bottom of that groove, which happens to line up, serendipity personified. We're clear over here, and we are clear up at 10 on this side. So we've got a pretty good run out there basically flipping the dial from end to end. Now what I'm going to do is see, up for right now on video, I'm just going to pull this out of here. Tick. Consider that pulled out of there. I'm going to loosen this up, get it up into a spot where hopefully we can get it to read. Now I'm going to bring the Gordo in and it's still got a bunch of oil, big old goober of oil hanging off the bottom. So we just stick her on in there. See the dirty little secret that I've shared, but maybe some of you haven't watched or don't know, this rod's a little bent. It's been abused. It's been used and abused. So I disengage it. It's already this weight that I'm hanging on here is really kind of stupid and redundant because it's already biased. This rod is already bent to a bias to such an extent that when I'm... anyway, it's got 
probably in its length it's got, uh, oh, I don't know, 30, 40 thou run out. So now we bring this down to there. I think we can all agree that we're reading it about the same place as we were before, same equal distance into the bore. And if we can't agree, then sorry, get a life. Because it just is. Okay, so now bring the Gordy rod up here close. Let's see if we have, we've got slightly less swing, but we're still getting almost end to end on that dial. So there are some stuff in the bore. Now here's where it gets interesting. Let's go find out, and also I was reading, let me, let me clarify, if I brought this out, oops, I don't know if I can. I'm actually in just a wee bit deeper, so that I could probably get all the way up to the full swing. We picked up a tenth there. Um, doesn't show you anything. But let's go find out if we get any kind of a meaningful reading further out. I have to turn the monitor for that because I'm going to run into my own self, which is not anything you guys care about. But let's run this out until it crashes into the monitor. See if we still get. If anything, we're getting as good a reading back here as we did there. We're getting the same amount of movement. But we're pivoting back here really well. We are getting the full, now I run all the way up into here, getting a full 50% dial swing. Just taking a few different spots along here. I think we had... Last time we, we... This thing's been set up and sitting in the lathe for a long time. Um, but I still have a... Let me grab the tape off of it from before. And I'll just put it down here to mark the high spot. High spot on the barrel. Low said we're actually dropping out. Um, let me get out of that. Let's get into the barrel just far enough that we're getting a good clean reading. Looks like I'm dropping off the dial is the problem. Back on the dial, you brute. Okay, there we've got our full swing back. This dial is bent enough that... There we go. So now, without wasting a bunch of time with that, I'm going to go ahead and Gordy this thing in. I'm going to run it in far enough. I have an old mark on there. See if I can get rid of that without getting crazy. Take this out. I want to again find my swivel point. There's a faint sharpie mark right there that none of you can see. I'm just going to brighten it up. That is one crap marker. Power mark. Power, you aren't worth. You got the power of nothing. So, back to Sharpie. Cuts through that oil as though it were not even there. Check, check.
sorry about this off camera stuff. I'm jacking around with the tailstock. Now we can run this into where we're getting a reading. Run this up to here. I did it again. This bent rod is killing me. It's running out of the range of adjustment because of the rod being bent. So, pick it up, set it back down. This isn't my normal indicator either, so the angles are all screwed up. Come on. Okay, I have a lot less in there because this thing is cocked in there, but we're still. Let's see here. I'm going to choke this up or go back to my other indicator. Well, no, let me try something else. I still want to give you guys an indicator that you can read. So, let me try. This is a MAR, MAR test, MAR Federal, decent indicator. And it is designed This is not the ideal angle for it, but it is designed to work in this area. In the interest of good YouTubery, I should have all this kind of stuff set up ahead of time. But the problem with that is, I could have all kinds of things done ahead of time then. And I'm just not. So, hopefully that dial, there we go, that dial shows up really nice. Okay, so the weight is coming off. Might have to get another bar. Mainly I was doing that to show people a way to bias the bar. This bar is so biased already that that's the least of my problems. Well, I'm going to have to put it in gear. don't like that completely unloaded.
I'm starting to wonder if this particular bushing doesn't have some crud in it. Because I'm getting readings similar to when the lathe was cold. So, time to regroup here. Clean the bush, because I think that that clickety-clack is occurring right in here. Don't recall? Don't recall ever running across to find a different bushing but have to go one size smaller let's see if that made a difference Okay, I'm going to call that close enough for now at the pivot point. It's a half a tick on this gauge. Now I'm going to go out here. An inch away. See, now we have the classic, perfect wobble up and down. Now, Here's where it would be kind of neat to have a camera on both the inboard and the outboard so you could see that rocking motion, but instead I am going to run this to a side right there, and I'm going to go out here and loose this finger tightness out here and adjust it out. I'm kind of running out of time on this project, so it may well be that I'm not going to get too far on this, um, but I'll get this adjusted out and I'm trying to save budget enough time here that I can whip around and show you what that did to the other end. Let's go, once we get this dialed, we'll go take a look at the other end and see where that big old wobble is. You saw the wobble earlier in the video. Should have marked it, should have done all kinds of things to uh, show the ups and the downs and the side to the side. I'm just not that good at this. But I think we have a bent barrel, which is a beautiful thing, because I've had a couple of straight ones trying to do this. That's close enough. I'm going to run back in again. Yeah, I have to reset this. Okay. And that's normal when you move that much. OK, 
Okay, that's hovering around a form of center. I'm going to run way in now. I need to rough this in in steps. You can't tighten up on any given part of it. See, now I went in twice as far this time. I'm going to go jack that other end around and show you what it looks like when I'm adjusting up and down in here. It, of course, is the reverse of my other adjustment, but I'm not going to get into that. You'll figure all that stuff out on your own. And more roughing in, gonna come way out here just to check it. Still got a tenth and a half out here, gonna go in and check where it is at the swivel. Okay, before I run out of time, we're not dialed, but we're within probably, I don't know, 10, 15 thousandths of wobble at the at this end. Let's see what we've got. don't know because I'm almost out of time. I'm not sure that you're going to be able to see. And I just loosen those up too. It's going to be, it's going to have 20, it's, before it was hopping up and down. Now we're into where, even on this video as it's dying, it doesn't have the same wobble that it had. So I'm out of video. That's the end. Of, I'm going to go start dialing that other end in before this thing just...